Hey guys, my name is Julia and I'm one of your teen services librarians over at the main library on Goodwood. We're back with spooky stem shenanigans because we're making spider soap this week. Supplies that accompany this video are available at the main library in a limited capacity. To make spider soap, you will need one silicon soap mold, a half a teaspoon of coconut oil, three one inch cubes of a glycerin soap base, a Dixie cup, mica powder, one plastic spider ring, a craft stick, uh, one pipette of essential oils, and it helps to have scissors and a butter knife. You don't have to have those, but it helps. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and take our glycerin soap base, and we want to, you, if you don't have a butter knife, chuck it in the cup as it is. If you do, just cut them up uh, into smaller pieces. Make this a little bit easier to melt. All right. Once all of your glycerin is in your Dixie cup, just go ahead and uh, Pop the coconut oil in there as well. You can use the craft stick, just throw it in. And you wanna go ahead and uh, throw this in the microwave in 30 second intervals until it is completely melted. All right, once it's all melted, uh, it should be completely clear. Be careful with it, it is hot. What you wanna do next is go ahead and either peel the hot glue tip off your uh, pipette of essential oils or snip it off with scissors and just go ahead and drop those in there. Uh, this will help your soap smell nice. After that, you wanna go ahead and open up your baggie of mica powder and dump it in. craft stick, stir that all up, and once it's all uh, good and mixed together, go ahead and pour half of the mixture into your soap mold. Put your, uh, your spider ring in however you would like it, and go ahead and pour the rest of that mixture over the top of it. And you want to go ahead and leave this sit for a bare minimum of two hours. If you are impatient and try to pull it out before then, it's just gonna be a liquid gobbly mess you don't wanna work with. I would personally leave it overnight before you do anything with it. After your soap has set up, all you have to do is take it out of your silicone mold. It should pop out pretty easily and it is ready to use. Enjoy. All right, so now it is time for the science. Chemical compounds tend to either be hydrophilic or hydrophobic. The hydrophilic ones really love water and want to work with it. For example, salt. The hydrophobic ones hate water's guts and don't wanna work with it at all. For example, oil. Uh, soap is something that all of its molecules happen to be both hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Uh, this means that soap can latch onto things like dirt and grease on your hands, bind with them, and take them away. It also means that soap can dissolve in water, but not dissolve the second you put it in water, which is useful. Back in the gap, people would make soap by boiling together animal fats and wood ash. Today we just used the pre-made soap base we got off of Amazon. If this is something you're really interested in, I put a link in the video description to what we used. Uh, our soap base today was made out of a whole bunch of different things. One of the biggest things was glycerin, and that's just as a neutral base to kind of hold everything together. But one of the really important things we used was sodium lauryl sulfate. And that is something that has a head that's made out of sodium, oxygen, and sulfur, and it's hydrophilic, and that has a very long chain of hydrogen and carbon attached to it, which is hydrophobic. Uh, sodium lauryl sulfate is a pretty common uh, cleaning agent used in a whole bunch of things like shampoos, toothpaste, and soap. Check out some of the labels of things in your house to see if you can find it. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, holler at us. Our phone number is 231-3770, or you can leave a comment on this video. Better yet, tag us on Instagram to show us what you made. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see you next time.